Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video with me. As you can see, we have the brand new Cheryl Gnome Gorgeous Banner right here. So that's what we're here for today. Alright, and if you guys aren't familiar with the current event right now, the Kuji style event, uh, Cheryl Gnome's gorgeous costume is unlockable via the episode plates given in the event itself. So if you take, let's take a look at the gorgeous um, I, I I don't know how many times I'm going to say gorgeous in this video, but yes, let's take a look at Sharon Gnome's new gorgeous episode plate. And um, let's take a look at the stats. And surprisingly enough, this is now one of the highest stats for Sharon Gnome and also within Utah Macross itself, uh, coming alongside with Basara's or rather Fire Bombers support episode plate. Now let's take a look overall uh, what how good this episode play is and whether it is actually worth for you guys uh, who are Sharonome fans and non Sharonome fans alike to toss in all your singing stones into this gacha itself. So overall fantastic layout of uh, well balanced stats for all three types of points for the episode plates and of course center skill with S rank um, ability unit total and life will be increased by 20% up so not just the normal stats for the unit but the life of that unit is increased by 20% up so this is a very off I would say a good high scoring center skill episode plate plus a support episode plate in terms of um, for missions that require uh, you to clear with a certain amount of HP which is what this current event is all about so we'll talk about the challenge um, for the uh, episode, sorry, for the event itself later on. Uh, I'm fumbling a bit because I'm a bit tired. We just came home from the um, Macross Delta movie screening we had in Singapore. So yeah, I've already posted up some of the photos that we had of the group that uh, attended the event at the uh, Macross SG admins home, Justin. So thank you, Justin, for holding the event at your house. Um, very happy to meet all you guys there as well. All right. Active skill, wow! Am I, am I, am I, are my eyes deceiving me? Because this is the first episode plate that has S rank for all three skills. I knew something was up when um, Good Job had very poor stat episode plates for both Shara and Ranka. Um, in this case, both episode plates for the upcoming, um, I mean, not upcoming, for Gorgeous and Ranka's brand new upcoming event. Um, Ranka and the brand new Peach the episode plates for both next uh, current and next events I expect them to be of this standard no wonder Good Job had such terrible episode plates because well Gorgeous and Ranka and the brand new Peach are going to have a brand new set of episode plates of a brand new tier level so as you can see active skill life recovery of 50% up life skill at the 42 second mark for 14 seconds, your combo, your score, sorry, your score will be increased by 80% up. So, it is an all-rounder episode plate. If you need any more reasons to toss in your singing stones, uh, sadly to say, the, the reasons end there. There is no special notes attached to this episode plate. But with support skills like this, this is all the reason you need to toss in your entire stash of singing stones for Sharon Gnome's brand new episode plate. So guys, if you are big Sharon Gnome fans, this is the time tossing everything, try and obtain this episode plate. This is all you are you're going to need to do well with most of the upcoming events. Um, if you are a new player and you've already racked up a lot of singing stones and you have not spent it yet, get this episode plate. I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm going to save my singing stones for my main account just for Ranka's brand new episode plate because I expect that new episode plate to be as powerful as this one like Cheryl's uh Sharon Cheryl has right here. This is this is totally awesome. Okay, um sadly to say I can only do one pool here on this uh, account. Uh so yeah, we're gonna do that and hopefully we are able to obtain this and uh make this new account all the more worthwhile playing. So guys, let's do this. We know what we want to see, so I won't have to explain it all over again. 
One plane. Oh no, the luck is terrible. <laughs> well, considering that such a powerful plane exists within this gacha, I don't expect um, it to be that easy to pull it out. Oh, we got new episode plates just like that. Okay, fantastic. So we do get points for Cheryl's new costume. No evolution for the plate though. Okay. Uh, nice to see Max and Melia again. Yeah, lots of green hair characters popping up. <laughs> okay. There we go. Keep going. Hopefully the next red box will evolve. Yeah, lots of green hair characters. Okay, no evolution. I skipped the animation there. That's kind of sad. So guys... Uh, didn't do too well with the gacha here. There we go, we do get points for uh, Sharon Gnome's new gorgeous costume. Okay, so let's go take a look at the costume for Cheryl. Um, if you guys are wondering what it does. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, oh yeah, I can't see the costume itself. So, because I don't have Cheryl unlocking this new account yet. Oh, that's just terrible. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. So, I guess we have to switch over to the Japanese wiki. So, let me just do that just in a moment. Okay, right, guys. So, we are here on the Japanese Uta Macross wiki page. As you can see, we are on the gacha page for Cheryl Gnome's brand new gorgeous gacha. As you can see, these are the episode plates that are inside. The gacha itself that are new that is related to Sharonum's costume because they contain points to unlock the costume itself. So the costume, however, is unlockable via episode plates given within the event itself. So it is possible to unlock Sharonum's gacha, I mean Sharonum's costume um, free of charge. You just have to work a bit harder. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Kuji Star event or uh, some people know it as the mission event, um, basically you have to um, work hard to gain the episode plates from the event songs itself. Yes, the event songs do drop the three star episode plates um, that is given free via point unlocking in the event itself. So, how you can obtain these episode plates for free basically, you just have to set up your divas with episode plates with high luck, and then of course, um, summoning out the yellow, yellow crystal notes which has a chance for them to be episode plates for these costumes itself. So yes, it is possible to gain Sharon Gnome's costume um, free of charge without spending any singing stones on the gacha itself. So, But if you guys are Sharon Gnome fans, I will highly recommend you to pull the gacha. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the, this part of the video, the episode plate is so awesome that you must get it uh, even for non Sharon Gnome fans uh, alike. So guys, what does Sharon Gnome's costume do? Well, it pumps up a 3% in to uh, the total score of the unit and life. So, um, oh sorry, not unit. In fact, it just total, total and life. So that's pretty fantastic. In terms, in, in cases like this, this costume is universal uh, for all the episode plays that you equip on your D.Va team for that particular life itself. So that's fantastic. So it's not weighed down like um, it is a total for a star element plates or maybe a total for uh, just this unit alone. So this is increasing 3% total in total for everyone. And also, of course, there is a live boost as well. So that's fantastic, which is exactly what Sharonome's cost uh, episode plate does as well. As for the next upcoming gacha that's gonna appear for this event, as you can see here on the screen right now, I do have the images of Makina in a brand new gorgeous costume that is similar to what Cheryl is wearing. So we didn't expect uh, Makina to be getting a brand new costume just like that, along with a new song release that is mainly just focusing on Cheryl Gnome. So this is a really big surprise, but of course, when it comes to selling assets off, um, Makina is no stranger to that. <laughs> As we have seen in the TV series for Macross Delta and of course the Macross Delta movie that has just been recently released on Blu-ray and DVD. So guys, if you guys are big Makina fans, I highly recommend you guys to pull the gacha for Makina's costume cause that is the only way you can get points to unlock Makina's gorgeous outfit. Sadly to say, 
you have to spend the money just like all the fans in the Macross Delta universe when they were cashing in to get all the mucky mucky love. <laughs> so guys, that's pretty much my advice to you guys on this current event and the episode plate uh, details for the current Sharon Gnome's gorgeous uh, brand new episode plate. Uh, I would highly recommend anyone who is capable to spend a bit of real life money on the Singing Stones to try and obtain this episode plate. If you guys are Ranka Lee fans, I expect Ranka's upcoming event uh, episode plate to be equivalently as powerful as Cheryl Gnome's because, well, both of them didn't have very good episode plates when Good Job was released. So the hint was pretty much there in terms that the upcoming two uh, exclusive songs for the individual divas are going to be very powerful and yes there is just proven just like that with this brand new gacha out so guys hopefully you find this video uh, informative as usual uh, if you do do let me know by hitting that like button and sharing this video to your other friends out there who love Utah Macross or maybe Macross in general and you want them to enjoy the music genre that Macross series brings about to all its fans around the world if you have not subscribed to my channel for more Utah Macross videos, do subscribe to the channel to keep updated with all the latest Utah Macross content. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!